that to me is just totally disgusting on his part. And I say shame on you, Congressman Forbes. The local leader of the gay Republican group is sounding off after a prominent Republican's behind the scenes campaign is revealed to deny Carl DeMaio party support because of his sexuality. DeMaio, a former mayoral candidate, is now challenging incumbent Democrat Scott Peters for a seat in Congress. 10 News reporter Michael Chen joins us with a response from Republican leadership when asked to weigh in on the revelations. Well, plenty at stake. Both parties expected to pour money into the race for the 52nd Congressional District, but one powerful politician wants to turn off the funding spigot for Republican Carl DeMaio, and that politician is a Republican. He's one of the most recognizable politicians in San Diego, Carl DeMaio. An openly gay candidate for Congress, he's a Republican. But across the country, an influential Republican is hoping DeMaio's party support will soon disappear. Mr. Forbes. Randy Forbes, a senior House Republican from Virginia, being mentioned as a possible chair for the Armed Services Committee, has apparently been busy on another mission. According to Politico, he's waged a lengthy crusade to convince his colleagues and the National Republican Congressional Committee brass that they shouldn't back some gay candidates, specifically Carl DeMaio and Richard Teesey of Massachusetts. At stake, plenty of money expected to head to the candidates. Susan Jester heads the local log cabin Republicans totally disgusting on his part and I say shame on you Congressman Forbes. After the political article DeMaio received public support from local Republicans Daryl Issa and Duncan Hunter. When House Speaker John Boehner was asked if he believed gay candidates should be supported he said I do. I can't actually say what I said but I said something uh, like it's about time. Jester says if Republicans want to win more elections they have to focus on ideas not sexuality. DeMaio was unavailable for comment, but in a statement his campaign said, unlike Mr. Forbes, San Diegans are not focused on sexual orientation. In an email to supporters, he added, it's good that these few out-of-touch members of Congress are the exception, not the rule. I'm thrilled that party leaders are ignoring the pushback. Political analyst John Dadian says Forbes' campaign could backfire. The backlash on this could generate support and fundraising support for Carl DeMaio. And pundits have speculated Forbes may be waging the campaign to gain support from certain colleagues to secure that chairmanship. We did reach out to his office, but did not get a call back. Michael Chen, 10 News.